Ah, amigos, it's Will here at Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of two custom wrestling figures, Hasbro style, old school, back to the 90s of Richard and Sharon, two <clears throat> really, really nice people that have uh, reached out to me, well Richard's reached out to me to work on this um, as a surprise present for his wife. So I'll be putting this up after he receives the item. I'm really, really happy to work on this and give this a bit of a breakdown for you guys today. So please, guys, sit back, relax while I talk you through why and how I made these guys and everything else in between. So firstly, we've already covered the why. Bit of a gift. I think Rich has already uh, has been a lifelong wrestling fan. Um, and uh, he said that uh, this is something that he's always wanted to do, always wanted to have his very own custom figure. We went backwards and forwards. We talked, you know, do you want this to be like the most realistic version of yourself? <clears throat> or do you want this to be like... You know, a more, I guess, cartoony, uh, cartoony um, sort of like, you know, dream version of yourself, jacked up, you know, with extra muscles and bicep and everything else. And we agreed that going for that more sort of like, not not cartoon look, but that more sort of like, yeah, this is me looking perfect. And this is me in my ideal form as a as an action figure. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we uh, we discussed different pictures. Was was he going to be smiling? Was he going to be angry, stoic um, and all these different things? And obviously we, we settled on a macho man base. I think, in fact, it might have been a Rick Martel base that we got in the end. <clears throat> so uh, I uh, looked. First thing I thought was uh, that he wanted trainers. So I've used clay to cuff up the boots and then added an extra layer of clay then to, uh, oops, sorry, uh, recenter the camera. And uh, then I've used clay then to uh, give the tongue and the, uh, the the edges of the boot. Covered up the rest of the boot with clay here. Yeah, it's never going to be perfect, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. And uh, I think it looks quite detailed. Certainly, um, I'd be very happy with this. As you can see, he's got a pair of jeans. Um, you know, very detailed little... Um, uh, uh, bits for the belt um, all the way around and uh, I've done like stitching as well using some of my sculpting tools as well as pockets here and here which I'm really happy with uh, nice plain white t-shirt sculpted all of this on mostly around the neck a little bit on the front to cover up things like the belly button and then a little bit around the um, arms here to give a uh, uh, a bit of like a material hang look as you can see you know you don't want a straight line it's not going to look real if it's a straight line Hand painted all these lily tattoos on as well as the stripe around the arm. And there's a lot of tattoos on the inside of the arm, but these are the ones I could fit in. Obviously, with it being Hasbro, they are quite small figures. Yeah, I've got the paint all over my hands. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> um, just finished working on my Strife Marvel Legends figure. Um, now, the glasses. Lots of people have asked me about the glasses. Let me just zoom in. Um, I've got a bit of a technique for working on glasses. There you go. That works for me. Um, when the clay, you know, basically I work on the front of the head first and I agree with my customers what they like as far as the features, the eyes, the cheeks, the nose, the mouth, everything else, facial hair. Then when that front bit's done, I then cook it in my oven and then I attach it to the back, do the ears. And at that point, the clay, clay on clay sticks really well um, when it's raw, uh, but clay on hard clay doesn't stick so well. So the front of the face is cooked without the glasses the back of the head is raw, but luckily being able to stick that raw clay to the ears here, pull it around one big long piece all the way around, just to do the top bit, works perfectly. And then two separate pieces to do under here. I make sure sometimes use a little bit of glue, but then just cut away at it, just cut away with whatever sculpting tool you're using until the point where you're happy with it. Um, really happy with how the head's turned out. But uh, yeah, enough about Rich, over to his, uh, his lovely other half, Sharon. Hopefully she likes her figure. I'll really try to get across as much of a feminine look on a female body as humanly possible. Now, it's hard to do, guys. This is not easy. This is a Jake Snake base, as most of you can probably tell. She's wearing knee-high boots. Um, one of my recommendations to Rich was, because Jake's got sort of muscular arms, uh, we probably don't want to um, leave her arms exposed, otherwise she's going to look pretty jacked. Um, I've worked on a custom recently, and... Uh, you know, we went with a Ric Flair body and um, the Ric Flair body was brilliant. I was really happy with the Ric Flair body, but it's just looked too muscular for a female. So we ended up adding long sleeve tops over there. Um, the other option would be to cut away all the plastic. I think that's a bit of a bigger job. It certainly cost me a lot of my hours work and uh, it would increase the price of uh, my uh, my time for Rich. So um, this head here, really happy with how it's turned out. She, he wanted her smiling. 
Um, she has little flicks on the eyelashes. All this head is completely uniquely head sculpted by myself. The hair and everything. Hopefully, you like how it's how it's landed. Um, we um, I just put sleeves on here. A little bit of texture up the arms. Um, you know, obviously sculpted a pair of boobs on there, which uh, he said was uh, one of the main features, <laughs> uh, as well as her her eyes, like big eyes and uh, a little smile with them. Um, uh, you know, sort of like a, a nice little nose, uh, but a nose. Uh, what a dungarees being on there, and um, yeah, attach them just to the the swivel at the waist. So there is still a swivel there. I probably wouldn't swivel it too much in case it cracks though. So there is still some articulation on both of these figures. Joining it there. And um, yeah, even put de loads of little details on like painting inside the legs um, right up to the top. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. So uh, time is money. I always like to talk about time and uh, effort. I'd probably spend around about phew, completing these two, I'd say 10 hours approximately to, to do both of these and um you know hopefully rich and his wife this is something that will last with them uh, for the rest of their lives um uh, all of the the denim work i usually use a wolf gray for the denim work and then i uh, use different blues that i've got in my collection just to uh just to bring up all that sort of like dry brushing and scratchy sort of denim look on there. I'm so happy with how these guys turned out and hopefully a bit of a family heirloom for years and years and generations to come. That's what motivates me, guys. And hopefully you guys have found this video motivational. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below if you want your own set of custom figures making. But of course, these guys aren't celebrities. These are just your normal customers, your normal people that reach out and just say, Do you know what, I've always fancied a figure. And that for me is probably one of the most passionate reasons why I love working with customers like Rich, like Sharon, because uh, this, this means so much to them and it means so much to me that they took the time to work with me. So like, comment, subscribe, let me know in the comment section below if there's any questions or anything else that you need. Um, get in touch if in any way you want your own version or if you want advice on how to do your own ones. And um, from me, guys, from Rich, from Sharon, it's been a pleasure speaking to you today. Thank you for all your time and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care. Peace.